Hello, and welcome to Super Dance Jigsaw Puzzles. We are about to start Jigsaw Puzzle number seven. Now, number seven was not what I thought it was going to be. Uh, I ordered number seven. It's backlogged. It's not going to be here for about two weeks. Uh, it is a beautiful Clementoni puzzle, and that's all I'm going to tell you about that. Uh, but it's coming in two weeks, so that is going to be puzzle number eight instead of seven. So in the meantime, I had to fill in for number seven. Went to the local Hobby Lobby store, used my cup used my forty percent coupon for eleven bucks, and got this. We are going to do the bait shop, the Springbok bait shop. Take a look at that. We're gonna get some bait. We're gonna go fishing. Pretty cool stuff. I really, really enjoyed that last Springbok puzzle that I did, and I'll show you in a second. But look, I think what sold it to me was either the scruffy dog or the hidden cat. I'm not sure which which one it was, but when I saw that, I'm like, okay, sold. Thousand piece Springbok puzzle. We're gonna get started on this bad boy. We're gonna do this bad boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But uh, you know, the other Springbok puzzle was a 500 piece. And I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, it was this one, if you remember. It was called the Good Neighbor Store. There, you see it? I uh, hope you can see it. Anyways, yeah, the Good Neighbor Store. And that was a fun one. Uh, you, you might be wondering, well, what did you do with the DC Comics Originals puzzle? Here it is. <laughs> Hung it up. In all its glory. <laughs> Pretty soon this whole wall is going to be covered with puzzles. It would have been covered with puzzles, but I lost all my puzzles when I moved. I had a lot of them. I'm a gluer. There's two types of puzzlers, like I said. There's gluers, and then there's people that put them together and break them apart, put them in a box, and resell them. But no, Super Dan... Puts it together and he glues them. All right. I, I put the effort in to put them together. I'm not taking them apart. Sorry. Not going to do it. All right. So enough jibber jabber. Let's get started on this Springbok 1000 piece puzzle. Uh, looking at it, I could probably separate some things. I could separate the floor. Uh, those pieces will probably stand out. That wooden floor. And probably this this right here, the uh, the bar, I guess you would say, the countertop. I, I think that would stand out too. So I could separate these two things. Everything else is probably just going to be in a box. So the plan is, is I'm going to open the box, take out the pieces, separate them into the flat pieces or the edges, get the edges out, and also put in a pile these pieces and these pieces and everything else is going to go in a box. So that's the plan. Let us start the solo team process. The solo team. <laughs>
finished the sorting. Uh, let me show you uh, what I ended up doing with the sorting. I forgot how Springbook, Springbok has these thick pieces. You know, they're, they're like, I think they're the chunkiest pieces of any of the other puzzles I've done. In Good, Clementoni, White Mountain, Aquarius. These things just have like a heft to them. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. And then when they fit together, they really snap together. Thick piece. It, anyways. Let me show you. All right. Well, this is the flat pieces or pieces that I think might be flat pieces. Like this one. I'm not quite sure if that's a flat piece. And this one. Not sure. So I learned from... You have the Springbok puzzle that if you're not sure, just put them all into flat pieces and you can put them in a box later. For these, all I did basically was flip them up to show what they are. I had to use three boxes and separate the floor. I couldn't separate the counter because I couldn't really tell what the counter was, you know, with everything else. I couldn't tell the counter, so, I mean, but it, but the floor kind of stuck out. Probably this is kind of mixed in with the floor a little bit. But the bar counter thing uh, wasn't as easy to separate as I thought it was going to be. So that's kind of like what right, I did. Well, now the next step, of course, is to put the border together, and hopefully that will go together without any missing pieces. And I'm sure some of these are not border pieces, and I'll just put them back in the boxes so let's go ahead and get that done now Well, that was a little harder than Super Dan thought it was going to be, putting that border together. Uh, there was a couple times when I was swore that I was missing pieces all over the place, but really, not so bad. I think we're only missing one, maybe two pieces at the most. Uh, like I said, I grabbed every piece I thought would be a flat piece. And obviously, from the looks of it, we have a lot of extra sort of flat pieces that will obviously go in the puzzle, not on the border. But let me show you the border that we put together. As you can see right here, that's where we're missing some pieces. These are all extra, as you can see, extra flat pieces that go inside the puzzle. None of them go here or here. But yeah, we pretty much got this border done. Uh, I still like Springbok puzzles, a little tricky. Sometimes I was wondering if they were really fitting. And a couple of times I caught them not really fitting. But uh, for the most part, I like the feel and I like the way they feel when they uh, connect. It's a thicker, thicker puzzle right, piece. So you may be asking yourself, what's next, Super Dan, now that you put the border together? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, we're going to start plugging away. We're going to start going through pieces, starting pl plugging away, go, putting them where we think they go, and we're going to start connecting them and start putting in the meat of the puzzle, the meat, the meat, the meat of the puzzle, just like the uh, most of the other puzzles that we've done. Uh, we're just going to kind of plug and play and, uh, and put this thing together, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get that dog together, and uh, that's how we're going to do it. So, uh, yeah.
Super Dan has been under the weather for the past five days, approximately. I really got the crud bad this time. I'm actually getting better. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better, even though I don't sound better. But uh, I'm working on the puzzle a little bit more. Let me show you where we're at now. As you can see, it's a hot mess. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not a hot mess. But we're uh, we're putting things together, sorting things out. Obviously, I'm I'm kind of putting pieces where they go. Beginning stages of filling it in. Um, we did find that piece, by the way, for the for the border. So, you know, what else can I say? We're getting getting it together for the bait shop to go fishing. So we'll keep working on it and. Keep working, plugging away.